college basketball is back as the number 13 Indiana Hoosiers open their highly anticipated season against the Ohio Valley Conference favorites, the Moorhead State Eagles. And good evening, everyone. Griffin Epstein alongside my good friend Jack Edwards. Jack, these Hoosier fans have been waiting a long, long time for this evening. Scott's got a room. Jackson Davis, a ferocious block. Cop for three. Yes! Jackson Davis will take it back out. Spin, turn, dribble, and throw it down with the left hand. Oh my goodness, that wasn't fair. Put Shafino around the screen, driving to the lane, puts one up the glass and in. Jalen and Shafino wow. hits a five point lead. Purdue the other way. Timeout, Matt Painter. So that's the four guard lineup for Moorhead State. Freeman will not start. It will be Tassan Redding instead off the bench with the rest of the starting four for Indiana. They're starting five. Thompson, Hood, Shafino, Jackson Davis, Cop, and Thompson. Inside to Gross. Indiana Native working on Thompson. Shot clock down to five. Gross is finding out the players are a little bit bigger and stronger in D1 than at the NAIA level. It's been held to just four points after averaging 25 points last year with Olivier Nazarene. Thompson's already tried two threes, but the third time is the charm. Got some nice technique, Griffin. He's got a bit of threat from beyond the arc. If he can have that at a 30, 35% clip this year, that's a really big ad for Indiana in terms of their offensive repertoire. Become a real stretch four. I mean, you think of him freshman and sophomore year under Archie Miller. He couldn't shoot anywhere on the floor. Must he at the three-point line. Wild shot from Wolf doesn't go, and here go the running Hoosiers again. Johnson decides to slow it down this time. Hoosiers only had four fast break points, but again, I think that number is a little deceiving. You look at the 20 points off turnovers, that shows you how much the Hoosiers have gotten up and down the floor. Something we notice in the exhibitions, it's translated today. But Shafino, that's pure. Give the four star freshman a little bit of space, and he won't miss that much. Four points for the freshman, and Indiana has a 17 point lead. This is their biggest of the evening. He's kind of guy when you get in the half court, very few things he cannot do on the offensive end. Redding fell and the foul will go on Cop. Yeah, just past his chest there, got a bit of feet tangled up there. I'm interested to see how Xavier Johnson handles his next few moments. You know, two personal fouls at the moment, played just nine minutes so far. He's got to kind of stamp his authority on things. You know, you don't want this to become too much of a discussion point this year if he's got a starting spot nailed on. He's got a great backcourt partner in Hood Shafino. Also a bit of a rival, though, in terms of being that primary ball handler. Uh, it is a, it's a fascinating story. Xavier Johnson is a fascinating player with all his ups and downs. It was very up and down for him last season, but he finished on a high note. A big reason Indiana had success in March. Wolf traveled. Another turnover for Moorhead State. Coach Spradlin called it poor floor balance for the Eagles, and they have been unable to solve it today, but you got to give credit to this Indiana defense. 14 turnovers, Griffin. It's not, not a pretty number in the slightest there, obviously. The IU student section is giving Jake Wolf, the Lipscomb transfer, a very hard time right now. One of the toughest atmospheres to play in the country. 17,222 today, a sellout crowd for this season opener more anticipated IU seasons in the last decade or so. Gross tipped it to Jackson Davis, but they'll call a foul. That's Gross's second. We go back to Xavier Johnson, Jack. He had, he had a bumpy first two games even in the exhibition, and Mike Woodson said right now he's playing too fast, and he has to understand, especially with Hood Shafino now on the team, he doesn't have to do everything. Speaking of Hood Shafino, he goes down hard. The shot won't go, but he'll have two shots at the line. But you mentioned it, though. Hood Shafino can potentially add to Xavier Johnson's game, but it can also bring added pressure to Johnson because he's not the primary ball yeah. handler, and that's a position that he's not used to, whether it pits or this past year at IU. I think what... Woodson and Indiana will hope that Huchfino can offer is a lessened amount of pressure on Johnson to make it work right now. You know, you obviously want it to happen sooner rather than later. You want the season to progress too much. You get into those Xavier games, the North Carolinas, the Kansases of the world, when you've got these great, great non-cons later on the schedule. Not to disrespect Moorhead State or look past this game right now, 
but he does have to kind of figure out where his level of aggressiveness lands for this Indiana team. And Huchifino has been a very special player so far for Indiana, so it can't hurt to have more good players. Never can. Indiana certainly added two really good ones in Renew and Huchifino. They lost four players to the portal, but just one was a starter in Parker Stewart. Indiana by far the most production returning in the Big Ten, 83% of their scoring return. Morehead State looking for an answer. Thelwell off the mark. Tipped and falls to Hood Shafino. What a pass to Jackson Davis. Oh, he couldn't finish. Tom Allen might want to look at Jalen Hood Shafino. That was a, a Great beautiful vision. pass. Wolf. Three ball rattles in and he points to the three to the Indiana student section trying to quiet them. There has been a lot of trash talk between both of these teams. Emotions running high between these conference favorites. Look, you don't want to poke the bear that is the Indiana student section. Well, Wolf steals it again. He's on the run and finishes off the glass. Takes another look to the student section and gives them some more words. 5-0 run for Jacob Wolf, who Preston Sproulton says is one of their big captains, their only returning starter. Averaged six points last year. Yeah, it's a very choice word for the student section there. Cannot repeat them here on the air. Can't? No. Thompson looking for Jackson Davis. That is a complete mismatch on the guard. Fell well, and he just rushed it. Indeed. Took it too quick. So it was a 12-point lead at the half. Moorhead State trying to chip away. Pass too high for Gross. Sprouting and Gross. And Moorhead State want a foul, but they're not going to get it. And the Indiana student section is back yelling at Jake Wolf. Well, we can't repeat that. They're chanting, you suck. The student section, the largest in the country here at Assembly Hall. And they've come in full force today. Got yeah, Renew on, changing the back in the front court for Indiana. Grace Thompson out. Jackson Davis is doubled to Renew. Johnson. Oh, was looking for Jackson Davis. That pass came out of nowhere and a little bit too hot. Those are the plays that certainly get Mike Woodson frustrated. Indeed. No, that one I think was just a case of we played Jackson Davis kind of sit a little bit more as that one was going to kind of be lobbed up to him. Timing a little bit off there. I think Johnson kind of just finding his own in terms of how he wants to kind of have his rhythm with this team so far. Well, Indiana got out to a 19-point lead early in the first couple minutes of the half. Thought this one might be over, but Morehead State has cut it to 13. 15-51 left to go in the second half. Season opener from Assembly Hall. Back in a moment on Big Ten Plus. It'll be Maryland basketball and their black uniforms. Hoosiers in their cream uniforms. Maryland will get it into Jahari Long. Point guard off the bench for the Terps. Reese around his screen. Driving to the paint. Stripped from behind by Bates and falls to Jalen and Chafino. He gets it ahead to Bates. He'll hold it up there for the Hoosiers. Indiana trying to take the lead with 13 minutes remaining. In the hands of the Big Ten freshman of the year, Jalen Hood Chafino. He's around a screen, gets it to Miller, cop top of the key for the Hoosiers. Inside to Jackson Davis on the left block, expended. Backing down, double team, Miller, cop, left corner, three, air ball, but Renew pulls it down, blocked from behind, though, by Scott. Terps basketball, what a play by Scott. Maryland the other way, all knotted at 43. Who can break the deadlock? Oh, Hart behind the back. Fancy footwork into the lane, but Bates stays with him. Now backing down Bates, back out to Young. They quickly go back down to Hart, spinning again in the lane off the glass, doesn't go, Hart on the floor, no whistle, pulled down by Cop. Indiana basketball. Hoosiers head the other way, tied at 43, Shafino around his screen, floater in the lane, he's bumped, and a foul on Maryland on the shot. It'll be two free throws for Jalen Hood Shafino. They're trying to give Indiana its first lead of the second half. Well, if that's on Reese, it's four. Hmm. I believe it is. Yes, it is. Wow. I think we were both a little surprised. Kevin Willard just left him in the game when he got his third foul. That is a huge, huge play in this game. Reese has been really good defensively down low. So Chafino misses the first three throw off the front iron. Maryland's going to make a parade of changes here. Three guys coming off the bench, three out. Carry long and... The aforementioned Julian Reese will all take a seat. We probably won't see Julian Reese for another five, five plus minutes, you'd think, yeah. with four fouls. 
Second for Hood Shafino, nothing but net. So the Hoosiers take the lead. 44-43 with 12-20 left to play here from Chicago. Spot in the Big Ten tournament semifinals on the line. Terps basketball. Running the weave at the top of the key. It's Young. He's got a scheme. Driving into the lane. Gets to the corner. Hart for three. Brack Iron no good. Bouncing around and it falls to Renew. Indiana basketball. Huchifino will bring it up for the Hoosiers and slow it down. 12 minutes left to play. Huchifino around his screen at the three throw line. Driving in. Double pumps. Front iron shot. Does it go? Offensive board. Jackson Davis lays it in. And one. The hoop. And the harm by TJD. Timeout on the floor, 46-43. Indiana in front, and the momentum on the side of the Cream and Crimson. 11-54 left to play from Chicago. Back on the other side on WIUX 99.1. Welcome back to Indiana Basketball on WIUX. Your home for Hoosier Sports. Griffin Epstein, Max Parker. In the United Center in downtown Chicago, Illinois. The Big Ten Tournament quarterfinals. Indiana leads 46-43. to Trace Jackson Davis at the line to convert an and one. And he does. Makes the three throw. And the lead is four for Indiana. 47-43 to with 11.50 left to play. Terps will bring the ball up. They haven't scored in 2.30. Young on the right side of the wing. Guarded by Malik Renew. That's a mismatch. Around a screen. Pulls up at the logo. Tried to get it inside. Deflect. Fell right back to him. Puts up a jumper. Doesn't fall. Offensive rebound for Hart. He's spinning around. Looked like he traveled. Somehow it falls to Young. A baseline J doesn't go. And a board for Jackson Davis. He rushes it up. Cop in the left corner. Thought about the three, but pulls it down. Four-point lead for the Hoosiers. Jackson Davis spins, turns in the lane. Off the rim and in. Oh, pretty Jackson Davis. Puts Scott in the spin cycle and gives Indiana a six-point lead. Jackson Davis is just taking control of this game right now, and that's exactly what the Hoosiers needed. He's got 16. Maryland basketball. Ian Martinez into the game for the Terps at the top of the key. Now it's Hart. He'll hand off to Dante Scott, who's fronting much of the load in the backcourt for Maryland. He drives, has a seam in the lane, lost the ball, bounces off the backboard, and falls to Hood Shafino. 10-0 run for Indiana over the last three minutes. They lead by six. JHS directing traffic for Indiana to Jackson Davis at the top of the key. The All-American left side for the senior cop. Back inside to Jackson Davis, spins in the paint, and is fouled as he puts one up off the glass. Doesn't go, but Jackson Davis will have two more. You are right, Max. This is one of the best players in the country trying to lead his team into the Big Ten Tournament semifinals. Getting downhill, it's tough to stop Jackson Davis, especially once he gets inside the restricted area. There's no stopping him. First for TJD is up and good. Indiana's still just four of eight from the three throw line. Jackson Davis missed his first three three throws. But the Hoosiers now lead by seven and all the momentum on the cream and crimson side. An 11-0 run over the last 336. Second up for Jackson Davis is good. Make it a 12-0 run and an eight point lead for Indiana. 10.30 left to play from Chicago. Here comes the majority cream and crimson crowd again. Young at the Big Ten logo, around his screen, puts his head down, spins in the lane, nothing there. Up to the top of the key, and Scott, junk, junk step, bets it back out to Young. He'll just force up a three, back iron, no good. Battle between Jackson Davis and Hart. Whose ball is it? It is Maryland's ball. Actually, that was Reese who's back into the ball game, and he had a good fight with Jackson Davis. To keep it Terps basketball, I guess Mark, Mark Kevin Willard, I should say, yeah. just felt like he had to bring Reese back in, even with four. Maryland basketball, 10 minutes left to play. Hoosiers by eight. Right side to Carey, who's also back into the ball game. To Young, he drives baseline, bowls over Renew. Oh, they're going to call the foul on Renew. Blocking foul on Malik Renew. Young bowled him over. And we'll have to get another look to see if Renew was moving. Foul's on the floor. It's the fifth on Indiana and the first on Renew. I couldn't quite get a good look at that. I'm hoping for a replay. But uh, a lot of tight calls here in this second half, especially down the stretch. Back to bringing Reese back in. I, I, I think Kevin Willard didn't really have any other choice. He needed his guy in. Maryland basketball. Reese has, did a good job on Jackson Davis, especially in the first half. 
Young inside to Reese on the right block extended. Spinning in the lane is doubled, works through some traffic, right-handed hook shot, back iron no good. Jackson Navis with a ferocious rebound and a little extra elbows thrown around to get Maryland out of the way. Tamar Bates on the left side for the Hoosiers who lead by eight. Bates a three, yes! Tamar Bates just throws up a three, it goes in and the lead has ballooned to 11. Timeout, Maryland. It's all Hoosiers in Chicago.